welcome to part five in this series, I believe, on 2D game design using Phaser, uh, Phaser 2D, Phaser IO. Um, so far, we've created a very simple little game, and again, I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible for you here. Um, but this is our game. We got uh, two players on the screen just because we can. Uh, I'm going to refresh that. You can see they fall, they have gravity, they bounce, they hit those bricks. You can move them left and right. Let's make them jump so that you can jump. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and make our code full screen. Nice big font for you guys to read there. Now we have in our update function for our players here, you can see that we check left or right, but now let's add another if then statement. And you want this as a separate if then statement because you still want to be able to move left and right um, as you're jumping. So I'm gonna say if cursors up. So remember cursors is an object from uh, the phaser game engine that's just checking for inputs. Say so here we're saying up, which means our up arrow, and if it is down, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take, in this case, P, which is our player, take their body dot velocity on the Y, because remember X is left and right, Y is up and down, equals, and we need to put in a value of how much force we want this uh, player to have going up. Now this might get a little confusing. You think up, you might think positive number. This is a negative number, because remember, top left corner here is zero, zero. Bottom corner here is uh, 1080 by 720 or whatever I made uh, the size of this level at. So this up here on the y-axis is, is zero, and further down you go, the higher the number goes. So we actually want to pull a force up. If we were to make this a, a positive number, it'd be forcing the player down, which you may want if you're, you know, have a spaceship game or something where the player's flying around. But we're working on jumping, so we're gonna say negative, and in this case, I'll put in 350, because that's what I found to be a good number. Now, if I restart, they bounce, and I can press up, and they jump. I can press over and up, and they jump, left, right, left, right. Now, if you don't want them to be able to go left and right while they're up in the air, because you know, realistically, that's not very feasible, um, then you can move this into the same uh, if-then statement. Uh, or you can have a check uh, well, a check that we're about to do because there is another issue here. Watch, I press up, I press up, I press up. We're not jumping, we're flying. So what we need to do is make sure that if we press up, that not only that we're pressing up, but the player has to be touching the ground for them to jump. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna go end, end, ampersand, ampersand. So we're saying if this is true and something else is true, they both have to be true. And in this case, P for player, because that's what we created in this loop. We said P for player. I could have put player to make it more simple for you guys, but I like typing as little as possible. So player body touching, so touching something down. So the player has to be touching something with its feet, with its bottom uh, down for this to work. So now I'll save that and I'll go back over to our game here and refresh. And as we're moving around, I can move around, I can jump. And if I'm on the ground again, I can jump. But if I keep hitting up, well, that shouldn't be happening. I did save this, right? Oh, that was it. I didn't click save. Click save for your savings to take effect. So now I can press up. I keep hitting up, but they weren't going up. But once they're back on the ground, they're back on the ground. Now this is something you need to think about when you're playing your game because we have our players bouncing. So if I see, I'll, I'll I'll press up just as they bounce and they won't jump again. See, do it again and jump. See, it's not working. Something you might take into account. Do you want your player to be able to jump when they bounce? We're gonna keep it simple here. They have to be on the ground to jump. So I can't fly away. Now, if you want them to fly away, you leave that out and it's no longer a jump feature, it's a fly feature. So let's go ahead and come in here. And just so we know, we'll just put a little comment here, jump controls. Okay, so we got our players, they can jump, they can move left and right. 
I want to point something out though, just so you don't come across this and it and it you know causes problems. I'm going to come up here to our create function where we create our platform, and for right now, I'm going to comment that out. Okay, so now our bricks will be gone. So now look, they're falling. They're on the ground, right? I press up. Oh, then why aren't they jumping? I can move left and right. Why can't I jump? Because uh, the game engine doesn't recognize the world bounds as them touching something on their down, on their bottom. Their bodies aren't touching anything on the bottom. Even though they're stopped, it doesn't recognize it like that. So make sure that there is a ground plane for them to fall on. Don't think, oh, I don't need a ground plane. They're just going to be running and I'll make them jump. You could do that, but then you can't tell it when not to jump in this fashion. So I'll go back in here, remove those comment tags, and refresh. And now we have our game, and they are jumping. Yay! Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I know it's kind of a short one, but uh, have fun. Play with that. Play with the numbers. Play with how they react. Um, you can even, uh, you know, technically give them each their own jump force, different number, so they can jump at different heights. In fact, that might be what the next video will be on. We'll see. Uh, I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, if you do enjoy this the, the, this video, uh, check out the whole series. There should be a link in the playlist, uh, or in the description. There should be a link to the playlist in the description of this video. And what it's going to do uh, is bring you to all the videos, but I'm releasing a new video each week. So, if you want uh, to see the videos earlier, Think about becoming a Patreon supporter over at patreon.com forward slash malx1000 uh, and you can get videos early and download them ad free. If you cannot support me financially but you like my videos, be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. I do appreciate it. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there should be a link to that in the description as well. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.